Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff Babbitts and today we're going to take a look at a trick by Juan Colas, an illusionist, and it's called Heartbeat. Let's get right to it. Welcome, welcome. I'm G Babbitts and if you're new here, I'm a magician who likes to play with cards. Today, we're going to look at something that's not really card related. However, stick around because I'll give you a couple of ideas on how you can add it into an existing card magic routine. So what are we looking at today? We're looking at Heartbeat. This is a trick by Juan Colas put out by Illusionist. It costs just under 35 bucks. I'll leave a link down in the description for you and if you use the code GBABITS, you'll score 10% off your entire order. So that's pretty sweet. But what exactly is Heartbeat? On paper, it might sound a little odd. You place a pencil between your fingertip and the spectators and as soon as your other hand touches your heart, they can feel your pulse through the pencil. Ooh, it's a very intimate effect. It's not really meant for crowds. It's a one-on-one -on -one experience. Juan even says during the tutorial that if someone asks him to show them the pencil trick, he'll tell them that he can, but not right now. More to that point, it's an experience, not just a trick. Okay, I've mentioned there's a pencil involved. So when we order Heartbeat, what exactly do we get? For starters, we receive this really nice tin box that has a sleeve on it. I've seen two variations of this sleeve, this one and one that has a QR code on it. The QR code is a link to the tutorial for the trick. Mine, well, doesn't have that. Anyways, inside this tin is a human heart. Just kidding, it's a pencil. In fact, it's this pencil and it comes in its own convenient sleeve. The pencil's not electronic and you could technically buy your own. If you perform it enough, you'll likely need to for replacements anyway. The spectator will be able to fully examine the pencil and your hands both before and after the routine too, so nice. Also inside the tin are two more objects. They're optional to use completely, but they can help you with your handling and to keep the pencil in tip-top shape. In addition to these physical props, you'll receive a 29 minute explanation tutorial added to your illusionist account, as well as two performance videos. As a quick aside, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd love if you would tap that like button. That way I can see how much you appreciate it or how well it's spreading to people. So thank you for doing that. Now, you might be saying, hey Jeff, Heartbeat came out back in May. Why are you just now posting about it? And you're right. I delayed for a while, but with good reason, at least with a reason. Specifically, I haven't stepped too far outside of card magic yet, and Heartbeat didn't seem like the kind of trick that I would do, let alone be able to explain why I'm carrying around a pencil. But I was acting purely based on the description of the trick. Like I said, it doesn't pop off the page when you read it on paper. I didn't watch the performance video or put much thought into it. After all, no cards, no interest. A bit of time passed and when I finally got around to seeing the performance video, it just clicked with me. This is exactly what I needed for one of my card tricks. I watched the explanation tutorial before I received the props, so I already knew what was inside. I don't think I would have been too disappointed either way though. I've heard a few complaints that the props aren't worth $35. And that's a true statement, they're not even close. However, the trick is definitely worth the price. I've spent way more on other tricks that produce a good effect and a good reaction, but the intimacy of Heartbeat is on another level. So where do I fit it into my card magic? There's a fun themed trick, or rather type of trick called the lie detector. In Card College, volume one, there's a routine called the lie detector, and it's similar to the same named trick found in The Fine Art of Magic. The effects of these tricks are that a spectator selects a card and while you're holding their wrist to feel their pulse, you ask them a few questions regarding their selection. You're basically acting as a human lie detector and accurately divine their selected card. Pretty neat. Jumping further into card college, though still in volume one, there's another trick called the jumping pulse, which is similar to a trick found in cardmanship, which is guess what? It's called lie detector. The effects for these tricks are that a spectator selects a card and it's lost in the deck. The deck is spread face up on the table. You hold their wrist similar to the other lie detector tricks and have them slowly move their hand above the cards and you can divine their selection. The jumping pulse trick actually takes it further by having the spectator do the same thing back to you. They find your card by feeling your pulse. 
I love these tricks, and I perform a variation of all of them combined while adding my own personal touch to them. The reaction is always good, but the last two times I performed, I've heard feedback akin to, he must have known the card the whole time. So here's my idea how to incorporate heartbeat into this routine. I would start out with an explanation that touches on meditation and breathing techniques and how doing so, I'm able to amplify my heartbeat so that others can feel it too. Then I would perform heartbeat as it normally goes. Once the reaction dies down from that, I offer to show the spectator how to do it. If they don't want to, it's fine. We have a great response from this. If they do, I tell them that the best way to practice is to distract the mind. I then begin performing the lie detector trick. After their card is lost in the deck, I have the spectator hold the pencil from above, just like how I would hold it when I'm performing heartbeat. At that point, it's all theatrics. Have them do a deep breath or two and follow through with the ending of the card trick. Having them feel your heartbeat before you perform the card trick, at least in theory, would help further build the reality that you are in fact feeling theirs. Hopefully, it removes suspicion away from sleight of hand. By all means, feel free to use this idea too, and if you have feedback for it or other touches that you'd like to share, drop a comment down below or reach out to me directly. One thing to note is that Illusion has sent out an email to correct the crediting of Heartbeat after my order. In it, they mentioned that a similar trick was printed in 1940, and they wanted to make sure to properly give credit where credit is due. That was pretty awesome. However, we can actually jump back over a decade prior to that because in 1927, the same trick was printed in Tarbell Course in Magic, Volume 4. While there are slight differences in the older trick and Heartbeat, especially in the presentation, the basic handling and principles are the same. Out of respect for Juan and Illusionist, I won't provide the names of the historical version, but you'll receive it if you've purchased the trick. And there you have it, folks. This is Heartbeat. If this sounds like your kind of thing, grab one now. As always, I'm G Babbitts, and I'll catch you next time.